Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quarantine scrapbooking hop. And my inspiration came from Missy Wooden and there is the layout I'm going to do. So while I am getting set up here, I pulled out four Distress Oxides. Now these are different from the Distress Oxides. I did the Distressed Inks. I um, have not, the, I just purchased these. I've never had them. I've only done the Distress Oxides, but I decided to also dive into just the Distress Inks, but I got them in the mini version instead of the big version. And that's how I'm going to get my Distress Inks is the little guys and not the big guys. But ultimately the four colors that I pulled, the black is black soot. The green is evergreen bow, the pink is spun sugar, and then the red is barn door. And the collection that I am working with is the May, May Hip Kit. And it has Sweet Story from um, Maggie Holmes in it and a little bit of Cartabella and all that. But the Cartabella, I'm not using... Um, for not card yeah Cartabella's collection I'm not using much of that I'm sticking to mainly the sweet um, sweet story along with um, full you know some of the scraps and whatnot that I do find in my collection or for the hip kit collection I have so I cut up this little piece of paper here that's got a bunch of tags and I leave it as my centerpiece just like uh, Missy Wooden has. Um, and what I decided to do was for my photo. Now, this is what this quarantine scrapbooking hop is all about. We are in this crazy, 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 crazy time. And we decided that about 10, 15 of us, somewhere around there, to scrapbook all of those crazy events that we have had to do while we've been like quarantined. Now, I know that most of our states are somewhat opened up um, and we're... Not definitely back to normal, but, you know, somewhat back to semi-normal. And I decided to do a scrapbook just for the crazy times. And this particular photograph is the second week of, we're in, I think we started the second week or I ended the second week. One of the two. And I took this picture of KJ and I. I'm pretty sure, honestly, it was at the end of the second week. The first week of school of us being virtually online was mass chaos. Parents messaging, I don't know how to do this, you know. And I was in the same boat because you guys know, if you guys have followed me long enough, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a third grade teacher in the... Georgia area and we went virtually online starting the 16th of March. My last day of school was the 17th. My daughter's and my district's last day of school for the students was the 16th. It was enough for us to say, hey, you need to take your items home, take everything home as possible because we don't know when we're coming back. Oh yeah, by the way, we're going to start online. You will get all your stuff the next day. Well, we kind of gave them a little bit of a time off. A lot of my homework for the students didn't start that week until, um, until I think Wednesday. And then I had some stuff due Friday, but not a lot. I gave the parents time to get set up and all of that because ultimately they had to find their schedule just like I had to find my schedule for my daughter. Like I was a hot, hot mess. As, even as a parent and as a teacher because I was like, good lord, what are we going to do? But then um, I, I came together with our team. We came together that last day of school before we virtually just went out and we could only communicate online. And we um, got together. We figured out some stuff. We did some... Um, all these little bits and things that we did it together as a team, you know, making sure that there was work and all of this stuff and so that the parents did not feel like they were left out in no man's land. We did um, an amazing job. Our team was awesome. We um, we got commended by a lot of the parents because um, they weren't sure how this was going to go and shoot, we didn't either by any means. So, um, but for her, 
she has, my daughter has an IEP. She has it for speech and reading comprehension. And that was a struggle for her to be home and not having, not a schedule because I had the schedule. I was a hot mess the first week. The first week I had no schedule whatsoever. And then um, the following week I put down a schedule, we wrote it down and we did really well. So the second week she did a lot better and she um, was, you know, she did do her work and she did what she was supposed to. At this point, I didn't have nothing for speech, nor did I have it for reading comprehension. So I was producing things for her to do until they could figure out for speech how they were going to do this and how they were going to do it for reading comprehension. So this is what that photo was about. It was, I know it was finishing up our second week of school and my second week of teaching and how the parents enjoyed the second week and it started to work and it was doing really well and you know all this kind of stuff we got our zooms down um, about this time is when zoom finally opened it up for us teachers to have a free business type account so that we could be able to set up zoom calls and you know that all of that kind of stuff and so it was um, it finally all started to come together now for me I strive on the unknowns. I love the unknowns. It doesn't um, hurt me at all or like make me struggle or feel like a struggle. So for me, I just made sure that I kept an open mind. I kept it very positive for my daughter and kept it very positive for um, my students and the outcome came out really well. So that is a little bit about the picture. And also make sure that you go check out um, everybody that's linked down below. Um, you guys know if you're new to my channel, you'll know that I'm more of a talkative. I let you guys know a little bit about the life, a little bit more about the photo, and just let you watch how I do this. Um, if you guys are my veterans, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back. And I hope that you guys follow along to everybody. So what I decided to do here is, is that I got out the white gesso because in Missy Widden's um, layout, she does two types of mixed media. And I did do clear gesso on the back or on the white paper that I have from close to my heart there so that it would work and stride really well on the swipes. Well then here I decided to take the same three colors that you can see and I'm brushing it on. I do type it like tap it a little bit but then I spread it out with my paintbrush and it works out well because I put down white gesso to make it a little bit softer so it's not too like strong at looking but soft enough to where you can still see it and um, it doesn't get all covered up but I do cover some of it up just with the things that I add and make it look you know like how I would like it to look and that kind of stuff um, I do also round out with a bunch of the wood chips from the sweet story <coughs> excuse me um, the sweet story I love this collection. It's, I always say Maggie Holmes, Crepe Paper, um, Amy Tan, Dear Lizzie are always my like four go-to um, collections. Very seldom do they not have one that I don't like. And I like that Maggie Holmes and Crepe Paper is always been my vintage, like what I call my modern vintage um, scrapbooking look because they always have the muted colors. Uh, again, I don't mind the bright colors because I do do some bright layouts, but I'm, I, I can't, I don't like the, I just don't like how bright a lot of the collections are. And then when I do use them, I want them on like a bright situation um, for it. So that's why like, for example, I'm using Vicki Booten's watercolor collections and a couple of her collections because I'm in Cuba and they're like a bright colorful um, country and the Bahamas is bright and colorful as well and so a lot of my photographs I like because I do either black or white or the color tones that are in my colored layouts are very soft and muted versus bright and loud because that's just the, how my color tones are as well because I don't wear bright bright colors I'm more on the like darker side of colors, I guess, or the softer colors. So it works out well for me. 
Now, I just put down some of the black soot there and I um, watered it down with my just my regular water bottle that I have in my room. And I just wanted to um, put some splatters down before I started finishing it out. Now, I'm almost done with this layout. It's actually um, pretty much done. Now, I did notice in um, Missy Wooden's layout, she had a couple of more little pieces hanging off the top. And I decided to go in with some tags in the embellishment die cut sections that I'm working on and decided to put this word sweet off to the side because I think it just works kind of brings you in to the photograph and then um, I did do the tags right here as you can tell and I placed that and I do go get some thread and I add some thread um, to this that is from Stampin' Up and I add that up on top and then um, I do I go to I do a lot on Instagram so if you don't follow me all of my social media links are down below that's including Facebook and Instagram and in my Instagram, I always take, like if I know for a fact that I put it on my Instagram, I will take whatever I put as my description to that photo and put it on my layout as it's my journaling pieces. So um, I did do that off camera, but in the still shots, you'll see the, that I did um, write it down. And it was pretty much just talking about kind of what we talked about in the beginning that I talked about where I do... Um, talk about her second day or second week of school and how she knows her things um some of it was a struggle and that kind of stuff but it's ultimately um my title here is going to be called hashtag love it's just because we do have this we love you know we we've always loved each other obviously but um our con conditional love i swear some days i'm like man and in other days, it works out well. And that's just the beauty of having children. So I do hope that you go check out Everybody in the Hop. And it's all linked down below. Go have some fun. I hope that you enjoy what you um, saw here. And if you are new, please like and subscribe to that channel. It um, helps me out. And it helps you guys to see me a little bit more. I come in with these enamel dots. And I finish these out. And then that's pretty much it um, that I can re remember. I think I'm just going through this. The still shots are coming up. Everybody will be linked down below. I hope that you enjoyed this um, hop and have a wonderful day. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.